what is good vibe gang last video of the night we're gonna close it out with elvis and for those that did not see my video uh yesterday i think it was that i announced it as of the 19th of this month i will be going full time on youtube i am going to be doing a lot of different things on youtube i'm going to be doing different channels I, I, it's going to be crazy i can't wait but like I said in my video, I'm giving myself a year to do this. Um, and I'm going to be working extra hard and extra and extra long and more videos a day and more different types of videos and podcasts and all different type of stuff. And I'm going to give it 110%. That's my promise to you. And let's see what just happens. Even that year... I am financially doing enough where I'm comfortable. We will continue this journey. If not, I am, I'm going to have to make a decision that's going to be best for, for my health and my family. And that's going to be working a full-time job and doing what I was doing before. I still do. I'll still do like videos. I'll, I'll just put, do more like a hobby, but I'll tone it down. I'll do like one or two videos a day. And, and, and stuff like that but i don't that's just worst case scenario that's just my plan b because if you're gonna have a plan a you can't just bank on that plan a realistically you have to have a b c and d so i have already my b and c so but i am pretty sure that with the amount of work that i'm gonna be putting in it's gonna it's gonna make a big difference in, in financially in, in my life so that's the plan that's my plan so this year coming up it's going to be special and it's going to be fun like comment subscribe do all that federico cut the beat and a lot of people are like oh you're doing this for the money you're not doing it because you like it well why can't i get paid for doing something that i like to do is that so bad i'm just saying like you are you live what world are you living in like i can i ask that question to the people <laughs> what world are some of these people living in that they think that you that it's a bad thing to get paid for loving what you do for doing what you love and getting paid for it to me is like the perfect maybe that's what they need to start doing maybe that can make them a little bit happier i'm just saying just thoughts elvis presley Shelly, I appreciate you for, for this uh this request that she sent me a, a minute ago. Love me tonight. Take four. Elvis Presley. I missed you. It is on you. May this tenderness cling when the fire of spring is a memory. May you still be my own When a hundred years have flown You know who he sounds like in this song? I ain't gonna lie to you. You know who he sounds like? There's a guy, as a Dominican singer. Uh, he's long, he's long time past. Like, this guy was like the... The Elvis in Dominican Republic, like he, like he sung, and his voice melted you. That's what he said. That's what he sounds like right now, and that's that's one of the main reasons why I like Elvis, is his voice brings me back. To like I bro I was brought up when I when I started to understand what music was. Like I I didn't come up in a black home. I came up in a in a Hispanic home. I came up in a Dominican home. They didn't listen to rap or or hip hop or or R&B or anything like that. That's not what they were listening to. They were listening to Spanish music and it was mainly like salsa, uh, bachata, merengue, and shit like that. So bachata is more lovey-dovey. So there's a lot of, Alto de Santo is a good one that he sings. And when he sings, the passion that comes out of his, his heart when he's trying to say, tell a girl that he loves her or he wants to take her home, take her home with him or, or whatever, or marry him. It's just you feel it. And that's why I adapt to Elvis so much because this is the music that I was brought up with. 
I was brought up with music that sounds similar to what I, I listen to now. Like right now, I listen to a shitload of Spanish music. Rap, I love rap. Don't, don't get me wrong. Rap to me is one of the dopest parts of music is rap. Lyrically. But I, like I said before, I'm a music head. I'm not a hip hop head. I'm not a rap head. I'm not another. I'm a music head. When it comes to music, it's all about feeling what you feel. And that, that's a point, point fucking blank and down to the bottom. Facts. Elvis brings that back, that, that childhood of mine back when I hear his, his soft, succulent voice. When a hundred years have flown but if You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the a song. It's a specific song that he sounds like this. I'm gonna find that specific song from the, the, the singer that I'm talking about. I have to call my mom and ask her. And I'm gonna do a reaction to it. So like that, you guys tell me if you hear what I hear. And I'm talking about this is going to bring it back to when I was like four, five, six, seven. I didn't start listening to like hip hop, R&B and shit like that until I was like 12, 13, 14, 11. No, 11 was the first time I heard like actual hip hop because I was still running around with mommy and daddy and, and not really listening to anything but what they were listening to. And then once I started to go into like school and shit like that i was listening to what my friends were listening to and they were listening to hip-hop so i was like oh okay but this is this type of music is always gonna be my first love from the bottom of my heart it is that's what i was brought up with i just i just love this type of shit it's so passionate mira marisol porque tu me estas hablando así vete pa'l carajo henry <laughs> I just did a whole fucking novella. <laughs> this year's gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah. And, and I'm saying all this just so you guys can know me a little bit better. If people have this misconception that they see the hat, they see the jewelry, they they see the skin tone, and they and they, they hear the way I talk that I'm like the biggest hip hop head in the world. I'm really not. There's a lot of more people that know a lot more about hip hop than I do. I know I know enough to defend myself and I love it and I love listening to it. But music like this comes came first before anything else. I just want to clear that up real quick. For so for certain people that are out that are out there just want to clear it up. And my background speaks for itself. You go, uh, you follow me on Instagram. My sisters are there. My dad is there. My mom is there. You go ahead and follow them. And you'll know by the names who who is who. And you go ahead and you can go ask them yourselves. Don't, it don't bother me none. I am the same person I am here that I am outside of this motherfucker. It takes too much energy and it takes too much time to act like somebody that I'm not. No, thank you. I'd rather, I'd rather live a happy life instead of always trying to... Can you imagine that type of person that always has to keep a facade when they're around people and when they're in, on the camera or whatever? They always got to keep... It takes too much energy. I'm 40 years old, man. I don't got time for that shit. I'm going to just be me. If you like me for me, then you like me for me. And if you don't, you don't. And that's fine, too. Because I'm still going to love you and I'm still going to support and I'm still going to take... I'm still going to be who the fuck I am. All that other stuff, I ain't got time for that. I'm too old to be getting into no young whippersnapper games, like Twitter fight and talking shit and beefs and all this. Keep it in rap. Keep all that shit in the music. Don't be bringing that shit in real life. Because some people will get shot. But if it... Not by me, by, 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 by somebody else that has a, a worse temper than I do. I'm cool though, baby. I, I smoke and I chill with my people, my vibe gang. Vibe gang! Let's go! But if it can't be, give this moment to me while our dream 
is bright Put your sweet arms around me And love me tonight I've been doing what saying about Elvis' song. He's been asking a lot of ladies to love him. You've been singing a lot of songs about a lot of ladies for the past, like, what, three, four reactions? It's been straight him asking that he wants love. Elvis, I think at that moment in your career, you didn't have a problem looking for love. You had problems looking for love in all the wrong places. But I don't think looking for love was the problem. Oh, love was out there for you. That was a lot of it. It was about finding that right one. And I think in every relationship, whether you're a favorite star or you're not, I think every relationship is, you should be with a person and let's keep it 100. Let's be adults about this. You, that you need to be with a person or people need to be with other people that can tolerate that person. And that's it. In rare occasions, you'll meet somebody that will make you a better person. But the majority of it, let's keep it 100. You need to just find somebody that can tolerate your bullshit. Once you find somebody that can tolerate your bullshit, then you good. And I ain't talking no extreme shit. Like, it doesn't, whatever happened to talking about what's in between of being extremely happy or being extremely toxic? What about in the between people? Nobody talks about that. Have you noticed that? The ones that just get into regular fights, like this motherfucker does not take out the trash for no Mondays. No Mondays he takes out the trash. One thing I asked him to do, he doesn't take out the fucking trash. That type of argument. Or 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 jealousy shit. But like minor, like mild jealousy type shit. They used, you know, you'll make a stupid comment and she'll make a stupid comment back. Like you'll say, like, who were you texting? And then she'll come out, my boyfriend. And then you come up, oh, I see no tricks on my phone. She's she's like, I know. And then she walks away running laughing. <laughs> and then what do you do as a man? You sit there and you're like, nah, she was joking. Ah, ah, it was funny. But you're not really, you're crying inside because that might be a possibility. <laughs> So you try to be sneaky and take the phone and wait till she's sleeping and she, cause she has that face code thing and you go, try to open it up. Ah, let's see what the fuck she was doing. And then you look at it and then she, you see a text message is from a sister and her sister answered back, but she fell asleep and didn't answer back to her. So that was like, that was the most recent person she talked to. So you went ahead and pressed the button and you opened it up and you're like, I'm going to make Ray mad tonight. I'm going to irritate him. Because if he doesn't take out the damn trash, there's going to be problems. So because I didn't take the... Tra- <laughs> I'm getting into... I'm getting... <laughs> so because I didn't take the trash, you're going to make me feel like that? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's why women are, women are crazy, man. Love me tonight. Let me feel your lips on mine. And though I pray forever and a day, I'll be possessing you. I'll confess to you. If I knew that our love would be gone with the stars in the dawn's gray light. That, this, is a, this is poetry that he's saying right now. Say that, that line one more time. I knew that our love would be gone with the stars in the dawn's gray light. I'd still hold you close and whisper Love me tonight And then she gets pregnant right after he says that Love me tonight That's what he put me He enters the tunnel That's what he does that <laughs> And then she gets pregnant nine months later 
Then he sings that song again, and she was like, yeah, why don't you take out the trash? It is not hard. We live on a hill. <laughs> like, I got to roll that shit down a hill. And if it tips over, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of this full time now. So, that's going to happen. <laughs> Beautiful. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. But I am absolutely, I am going to go all my mom tomorrow. And I'm going to absolutely, absolutely, absolutely ask her what's that guy's name. And I'm going to try to explain to her the song to see maybe she knows the name of the song. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do that reaction on Monday. So I can't, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. It's, it is in Spanish, but I'm going to see if I can put subtitles in it. If that subtitle option is available or the translation or whatever the hell it is that they have there. Um, but yeah, you guys tell me what you think of that guy. And, and if you like him, if you mess with him, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more songs that he's got that we could go down in. So I'm, I'm going to, it's time for me now to introduce you guys to the music that I was brought up in. Facts. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys on Monday. You have a great weekend. Be, spend time with your loved ones tonight. Uh, Sunday is my baby boy's birthday. He's turning 15, so we're gonna be celebrating his birthday. He's gonna have a birthday weekend, so we're celebrating it tomorrow and on Sunday. So it's gonna be fun time with the family and, and to see the gifts that he got and have fun. The boy worked really hard uh, this year in school, uh, and so I, I'm, I'm really proud of him. So I, I'm happy that. He's able to really enjoy. We just asked him, what do you want to do? He came up with all the plans himself, and we just paid for it. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. I'm going to see you guys on Monday. I'm going to have a lot of videos done on Monday. I'm going to try it differently on Monday, though. I'm going to see, since my schedule is going to be pretty much YouTube, I'm going to be doing nine to six videos. So, so from nine o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in, in the afternoon, is with the time frame that I'm going to be doing videos. So I'm going to try it out on Monday. I'm going to wake up early on Monday and I'm going to go and try some videos out that early until Stacy comes out of work. So I'm trying to follow her schedule so I can work her schedule so we can be more together. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys on Monday. Peace. Relax. 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 That's fine.